Yo, what's up everyone? This video, I want to talk to you about... It was a rant I did on my Instagram the other day. It was just in regards to... I feel like just being a creative person in general and with Instagram and not really focus, focusing so much on the likes and etc. And when I say etc, it's like everything else that comes with getting obsessed with likes. This is just all top of my head. I don't have anything, nothing pre-written. I'm not looking at any notes. I just want to, first off, talk about my experience when I first started taking calligraphy serious, seriously and with Instagram in general. When I first started taking, taking calligraphy seriously, you know, posting daily to Instagram, I things I did not know. I didn't know much about editing photos. I knew very little about hashtags, hashtags because I had found an article on like most popular hashtags to include in your post on Instagram. And then I didn't go around liking people's work much, hardly if all. I did maybe a few, a few posts here and there and didn't know about leaving comments and with some other stuff. With editing photos, comments, liking work, hashtags. And I feel one of the main things that has helped me and really putting out work that I enjoy. Because it's like when I would pro would post I would just post for the sake of you know I gotta post every single day posting every single day you know maybe this work maybe this piece will turn out good but if it doesn't oh well maybe somebody will like it and then I noticed a thing about myself mentally it's like I would not take time to put put all of me into my work and by putting all of me it's like knowing I could do better quality because like I had better taste and this goes back to a video that many many of you may or may not have seen but if you haven't I'll put the video link in the description it's like you have good taste and you know that what you're producing is not as good as you know you can so it's like doing more and more work posting every day helped me get to the level that I'm at now and it's helping me get even better and all of the pieces that I had well that I have on my Instagram it's like it's documented you could see from the beginning to where I am now I even thought at times maybe I will delete every delete all those posts but I said to myself it'd be better for me to leave it up for other people to you know, discover me and then they could see, like, how is this guy, like, how is his work at this level? And then focusing on the likes and comparing yourself to other people's work that you follow. I will say that when I started, of course, I follow, would follow a lot of the main Instagram pages for lettering because if you didn't know I first wanted to attempt hand lettering and then I realized you know what I'm not that fond of hand lettering it's not something that I can get super excited about like oh yes ready to spend hours upon hours on a piece perfecting it every little detail and not saying that there's anything wrong with hand lettering that just wasn't something that I see myself personally getting so stoked or excited about to do day in and day out and then I discovered then I discovered calligraphy it calligraphy for me I because I was doing graffiti before and it was really in correlation with one another so like picking up a calligraphy pilot parallel pen and saying like, you know what? 
let me stick with this for a year and see what I could do and become part of this community. And you know, that is, it is so great. And then, I say it's so great because, I don't know, it's like you could see, I don't know, I just, the way how I am, like how I feel about calligraphy is because when I was in design school or art school, whatever you want to call it, I had one of my professors in typography class say that you have terrible hand skills and to see me now, uh, it is such a, a wonderful feeling and also having sold my work on stickers, shirts, tote bags, people buy my calligraphy pieces, brush lettering pieces, and then done custom logos. It's like such a great feeling. And that all stemmed from me, you know, having the drive and uh, focusing on the likes. Even though it's so easy to focus on the likes, and comparing yourself because it's like a lot of people that you follow they may be better than you and more or less they possibly are and you know that's okay you just have to stay in your lane and by meaning stay in your lane is focus on your path and listen to yourself and if there's something that you're doing that you're not stoked about, stoked about or excited about we'll say like Let's say, for example, you do, uh, what is it? You do point and pen calligraphy, and you've been doing that for the longest, and you're starting to get bored, or bored with it, and not excited about it. Then maybe maybe try broad edge calligraphy, or try brush pen lettering. The the thing the uh, what do I want to say? Like the possibilities are endless, and back to focusing on the likes. Whenever you post a piece on Instagram, you'll get into a rhythm of, oh man, I'm getting this many likes, I'm getting this many likes. Maybe I should create more pieces like that so I can get more likes. And eventually, you have another thought of, oh, I posted this and I didn't get that many likes. What am I doing wrong? But you know, the main thing is, is to not focus on the likes. Do it for the love, because eventually the likes will start coming in, the more and more. A good example is this book that I'm reading called Die Empty. I definitely recommend this book because it has allowed me to think in a greater on a greater frequency or greater level in regards to my work. So I just want to end this video with, like, don't focus on the likes, especially with all the social media stuff. Just stay persistent, believe in yourself, and follow your work, and continuously put in the work. Produce work and practice daily, because that is going to make the big difference but you also have to remember if you don't connect with if you don't connect with your community let's say i wanted to do basketball if i'm not connected with that community then nobody's going to know that i exist like if i want to it today i wanted to create a instagram with basketball trick shots nobody's going to know i exist if i don't use Hashtags if I don't go around commenting and, and connecting with other people and DMing people and also supporting people in that community and that ties in with connecting with people so if I can do it so can you thanks for watching and one more thing let me know what you thought about this video hopefully I was able to stay on track it was just really straight from the heart Alright, for this time, catch you later.